All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rechach Wadash. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who do rule and teach well, and peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing his truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yorah, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right. So I'm pretty sure brothers have heard um, or caught wind about the situation, um, you know, involving these um, these guys, these so-called Israelites, you know, in these different camps. All right. And uh, what happened in uh, Chicago? So I'm going to play a little bit of the video and then um, we'll move forward. Hey, the Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and to feed the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashemiah Hashemiah. too much of that but as you can see in the video uh the caption at the bottom um whoever posted this video actually reads black hebrew israelites fight with palestinians all right yesterday in chicago you see so you know they had a um a rally you know the the, uh, the uh, palestinians um in chicago not that long ago because of um most likely because of what's going on in Palestine, man. You know, the uh, the genocide, you know, done by the hands of, uh, you know, the uh, Israelis, okay, or, you know, Amalek, okay, it's the uh, so-called J-double-O's, you know, and, um, and, and, and Babylon, you know, Babylon has, you know, Babylon, aka America, has, has a hand in that as well, you know, with that genocide and, you know, hey, it's, hey, it's look at it. Look, all right. Anyway, um, but prophecy is looking lovely. That's all I got to say. Prophecy is looking lovely when it comes to what's going on in that region. All right. But nevertheless, they had a um, protest, the Palestinians. OK. In Chicago. And then you had these guys, this uh, Hebrew Israelite group, uh, Wi-Fi Watchmen for Israel. All right. Went out and uh, decided to set up camp. Right in the middle of the protest, man. Okay. Which was a very, very unwise thing to do. Okay. Very, very unwise thing. It's like a very, very unwise thing to do. I'm pretty sure brothers and uh, sisters have ran across the video of, um, you know, the, um, the gathering. All right. That they had in, um, what was that? Um, I think it was, uh, I think it was Israel. Yeah. Uh, pretty much, you know, with the uh, the uh, lady, what she was saying in the video was Israel's number one main concern, even in the midst of this war that's going on over there. Right. Their number one main concern is the uh, Negro male, as they call them. All right. Or as they call us, the Negro male in America. Now, how the hell is that, man? All right. Ask yourself, how is that? Right. Or why is that? Well, we know why. Because the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is flowing all through the earth, man. All right. Because he has woken up his elect and select men. All right. To go out and preach this word, man. OK. To go out and preach his word. Not our words. His word, man. OK. And, you know, most importantly, man, with the situation, you know, with these nigga lights, you know, going, you know, toe to toe, blow for blow with the Palestinians and, you know, wanting to go to war with Esau physically. And, uh, you know, the main uh, um, thing to learn from this is you got to follow the spirit, man. You know, and what's the spirit? The scriptures, man. Everything that's written. OK. All right. These are instructions for us, man. OK. For the elect. All right. And when I say, the, the you know, instructions for the elect is because you have Israelites out here. All right. Not just the two thirds of the nation of Israel, but you got guys that 
are, you know, that know that they're Israelites going out and teaching, man, that are a part of the two thirds as well, man. You see? And they're not putting out the right message, man. Okay? They're not in the right spirit, man. The Lord isn't dealing with these guys, okay? Because that was out of order, man. Okay? And the fact that, you know, um, you know, brothers, you know, starting with our apostles and elders on down, you know, got on these guys for their poor conduct and their and 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 not applying wisdom in this situation, you know. Uh, as far as, you know, fighting, physically fighting with these Palestinians, man, these guys got mad, man. You know, you had the guy from uh, the, uh, you know, the head guy from uh, Watchmen for Israel, you know, which those guys are bug outs, man. You know, as far as what they teach, you know, about the uh, the MOTB not being the RFID, you know, but whatever. But you had this, uh, the, you know, the head of that camp, Wi-Fi. You know, Watchmen for Israel come out and say that, you know, call, you know, call us niggas, man, you know, for uh, for uh, for uh, rebuking them, man. You know, for 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 correcting them, you know, with their poor conduct, man, you know, and not applying wisdom, man. How 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 is it you guys call yourselves uh, men of the Lord, you know, but you're going to get mad, you know, at the rebuke from. The men of the Lord, man. OK, because we're not look, the Lord, the Lord calls his men, his, 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 you know, his mouthpieces. OK, his mouth, you know, for a reason, man, because we don't go out there and express our own feelings. And oh well, I felt like the brothers in Chicago and, the you know, the the Watchmen for Israel brothers shouldn't have did that. No, man, like we, we we read scriptures, man. We tell you, thus saith the Lord, man, thus saith the Bible, man. OK, about our conduct, about our instructions on what to do in every any and every situation, just like this situation, man. You know, and we're going to get a couple of precepts as well. So lucky like for being long winded, but I want to just go through these videos, man, and just kind of just, you know, go down the timeline, man. OK, so this guy calls us, you know, uh, um, you know, try to call call us out and call us niggas, you know, for for uh, correcting them, you know, which we're supposed to correct you, man. OK, we correct each other. You see, but, you know, like I like I mentioned, these guys aren't in the right spirit, man. All right. The Lord, the spirit of, uh, the, you know, the spirit isn't dealing with them and the spirit of Yahweh Shai is not dealing with them. OK, so even when you watch that video, man, you can't tell who are the who, who are the, you know, the watchmen for Israel, you know, Israelites and the Palestinians, man. They all just like a bunch of uh, uh, um, um, hyenas out there, man. You know, but so lucky. Let, let me go to this. uh so then you had this guy, okay, this guy right here, Chief Ephraim, all right, which you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta really question this guy whole motives, man, okay, all right, I don't, I don't, I don't watch this guy as far as, you know, him going out and teaching or whatever the case may be, man, but it's, it, it's just mighty funny, you never hear about this guy, you never see or hear from this guy until some propaganda, some BS is popping off, man, okay, that's the only time you see this guy, okay, I believe the last time, you know, this guy, he went, you know, viral, you know, for being out there in front of the Capitol building after the, you know, after the, you know, the uh, Babylonians rushed the Capitol building, you know, and this guy was out there, you know, with, with, with you know, with his camp teaching, you know, in front of, uh, you know, these, uh, these uh, Edomite students, man, you know, mocking them, man, you know. These guys are all out there, man, for the spotlight, man. All right. It's not about the light. All right. Of Yahweh Shemel Shai, which is the knowledge, wisdom and, and uh, truth and understanding, man. 100 percent truth. They're not out there for that. They're out there for that, that, that a worldly limelight. OK. You see, they want attention, man. These are attention seeking whores, man. OK. And that's the only time you see this guy, man. OK. But look what he said about the whole thing, you know, that escalated in uh, Chicago between Wi-Fi and and the Palestinians, man. Calling all camps, all camps, all camps. Shalom came from Japan, all praises. All praises. Y'all calling all camps. All camps, man. Y'all seen, seen our brothers at WFI, the Watchmen, get attacked by them Palestinians in, in, in Chicago. I'm calling all camps to pull up this Saturday, man. This weekend, man, round two, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? We need to stand by our brothers. You see that? I'm calling all camps, all camps. 
to pull up. Round two. What you mean by round two, man? What do you think they mean by round two, man? These guys are going out there with the intentions of having another physical fight with these Palestinians, man. You see that? They even have a date and everything, man. You know, it's them that like this guy's like promoting it like a pay-per-view fight, man. Okay. Which is totally off, man. When you read the scriptures, man. You see? But before, before I get the scriptures, man, he's not the only one, man. All right. He's calling all camps. He ain't calling Great Millstone. He know we not going out there. He know what spirit. The, these other camps know what spirit we are in. Okay. And no matter what they call us because of it, man, guess what? We're in the right spirit because we're following the, 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 the basics and the, so like the, the basic instructions. All right. Of the scriptures, man. All right. Of Yahweh Bashim Shai. But he wasn't the only one that, 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 that made this, uh, pay-per-view announcement, man. Okay. Let's go here, man. Okay. Cause you got another guy, man. HOI, the head of HOI, man. Let's see what he said. We'll all sit there and make nobody got a damn thing to say when he come to put everything in order. So we'll patiently wait for them. In the meantime, we will work with our brothers that are workable. All right? That, you know. So, calling all affiliate camps of HOI and Watchmen uh, to come out. You know, like I said, we already have in the Chicago area, we have a... Uh, see? See? Call in all camps, call in all camps. And that goes back to that unity camp thing, man. OK, that unity camp BS that they were in. You see that these guys are still in that same spirit, man, even years afterwards, man. All right. But that's cool, man. Let these guys, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, let the, uh, the, you know, the unclean and unholy, man. All right. Continue to, to, to be unclean and unholy, man. OK. As it is, you know, spoken about in, in, in uh, the book of Revelation, man. All right, let these guys do what they do, but you have to recognize the spirit, man. Okay, and make sure you're in the right spirit. Make sure you're not in this type of brawling, you know, I need to get my get back type of spirit, man. You know, the Lord said He's gonna fight for us, man. You know, we don't need to go out there and and and, and you know, calling all camps, calling all camps. Let's get you know, let's get our lick back. Round two. We don't need to be in that spirit, man. All right. The Lord's coming back for round two, man. OK, <laughs> think about that, man. The Lord's coming back for round two, man. The Lord's coming back for round two, man. OK, to recompense vengeance to our enemies, man, for us, for our sake, man. The Lord's speeding up the times, man. The Lord's, you know, uh, uh, um, um, prophecy is coming to pass, man. For our sake, man, the Lord's doing that for our sake right now. The Lord's getting the round two right now. But no, these guys need, you know, they're, they're carnal, man. They're in the wrong spirit, man. But notice this guy's about to name off the different camps that he wants to, you know, to uh, pull up in Chicago, you know, for round two, man. Let's see what camps he uh, names off. Of course, Watchmen, HOI, we have Anointed House of Saints, um, Lions of Jeshurun, Judah, we have Sakari, we have... Uh, uh, Lions of Jeshua and Judas Kari, and we have AOC Chicago. That's that's the ones. If I forgot anybody, I apologize. That's the ones I I can think of that are still. I know you forgot. You forgot Great Millstone, man. <laughs> but they know why they forgot it. This guy wasn't even thinking about you know saying Great Millstone anywhere, right? Because we have brothers. We have a you know a, a um um a nice amount of brothers. Okay, a large body of brothers in Chicago, man. All right. Of great millstone, they but they but they know we they know we not getting involved in that man, you know. And they can call us cowards, they can call us niggas, they can call us whatever they want to call us, man. All right, but Lord willing, at the end of the day, you're gonna be calling us the elect first fruits of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, Lord willing, man, Yahweh Ratzah. So let's get to these precepts, man. All right. Oh, let me <laughs> let me point this out, man. A brother posted this in the chat, you know. But this was from uh, uh the page of um. Uh, Chief Ephraim, okay, all right, and uh, you see what he posted, man. All right, any donations for this uh, weekend's mighty pull up? <laughs> see, <coughs> excuse me, might mighty pull up Unity Camp, all right, in Chicago for travels, all right. Not now they asking for donations, man. So they want to be nigger lights, okay? 
And then they want you to pay for it, man. They want to be nigga lights and do nigga light, you know, uh, 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 you know, worldly nigga crap. And they want their 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 supporters to pay for it, to fund it. You see that? Look, gas, food, parts for the pull up boys van. Like, come on, man. We just mentioned what what what, what well, you know, Israel, you know, what, what their you know, what their number one concern is over there in Israel, the state of Israel. With the with those J double O's, right? Then their number one concern, even in the midst of a war, is uh, uh, um, the Israelite man in America, man. So you're already a target, man. We're already a target, and you niggas is going out there and going toe to toe with the Palestinians and and and, and uh, Esau for what? You're making yourself more of a target. That's why these guys are unwise. The spirit is not dealing with these guys, man. Okay? The spirit is not dealing with these guys, man. Yeah, I was shy, man, when he walked the earth, man, okay? Him is him and his disciples, they were targets, man. Yeah, I was shy was a target. Was he not? Did he go out there looking for the smoke pulling up? Did he call him and his his, his uh, disciples the pull-up boys? We for the pull-up on the Romans like like no. Come on, man. Even even Yahweh Shai was wise enough to hide himself, man. Come on, man. That's why these guys aren't in the right spirit, man. You're not even talking about privacy. It's like a, 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 a prophecy, excuse me. Okay. You're not you're not even you're not even the spirit of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. You're out there trying tr 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 trying to get your lick back. Come on, man. And and then you want to be nigger lights and you want the people to pay for it, man. You want parts for your pull up boys van. Like, come on, man. Let's get to the scriptures and then we'll close it out. Where we at? Okay. Let me make this quick. All right. This is uh, the book of James, St. James, chapter 1, and verse 19 and 20. And it reads It says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, okay, talking to us, right? These are instructions, right? Let every man be swift to hear, all right? So, so be fast to hear, fast to listen, right? And slow, so like it says, slow to speak, slow to wrath. See, slow to wrath. What is that wrath, that anger, that get back spirit, man? You know, that pull up boy spirit, man. Okay. What are you looking for recompense for, man? All right. The scriptures, as it is written, man, the Lord is going to recompense vengeance upon our enemies. We're going to get that too. Okay. Matter of fact, let, let, me, let me jump and get that right now. Okay. Look at this. The book, of, the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 17 to 19. And it reads, recompense, right? Payback, right? Get your lick back, right? Recompense to no man, evil for evil, man. You see that? What happened in Chicago, with, with, you know, with, with the, uh, the Wi-Fi camp and, the, you know, between the Wi-Fi camp and the Palestinians, those were, that was evil, man. Okay. And evil goes into the Hebrew word rye, which means bad times. Okay. That was a bad time, man. Police got involved. Pretty sure people got arrested. You see? You got poles and flagpoles being, being smacked over people's heads. And come on, man. That's, those are bad times, right? The Lord said, recompense no man evil for evil, man. All right. So now y'all want to gather up together, bigger and stronger. Right. We're going to we're going to show them Palestinians that, you know, them brothers got brothers, too. And we're going to go back for round two. See, you going down there. You don't you going down there with the intentions of bringing evil or bad times upon those Palestinians, man. The Lord told us not to do that, though. We're reading it. Recompense no man. It's like a recompense to no man. Evil for evil. Provide good things, honest in the sight of all men. See what what, what would have been the honest or wise thing to do, even if though even if y'all out there teaching and the Palestinians out there picking with y'all, man. Okay, was to be the 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 the, the um the wise thing was you know would would have been to do was to pack your things and move to another spot. Period. But see, those guys are too proud, man. See that pride, man. Oh, I don't want to, you know, no, 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 I, they shouldn't have did that because then they would have looked like chumps. See? Come on, man. 
in the wrong spirit. Verse 18, if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Live peaceably. That wasn't peaceable, man. Going back, you know, gathering all these camps up together and, and going back down to Chicago for part for so like it for round two. That that's not living peaceably amongst all men. That's not the right spirit to be in. OK, verse 19, it says, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. See, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. OK, put it away. Tuck it away, man. OK, yet yet. Yes, we in the flesh. Things piss us off, man. OK, we're men. Things definitely pisses us off, man. OK, we're at the bottom of the totem pole. The Israelite men is at the bottom, bottom. OK, but through the spirit, we're at the top, man. OK, and you got to let your hey, 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 the scripture says, let your light shine before men. What you think that light is, man? The wisdom and knowledge and understanding that has been gifted to you. OK, gifted to us. Via Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. OK, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shy. It says, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord Yahweh. OK, and that's a quote from right here. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter, chapter 32 and verse 35. And it reads to me belongeth vengeance. See, you're trying to get your lick back and your round two and your all of that. Come on, man. The Lord. The Lord is going to bring round two and, 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 and the, you know, the payback and the lick back. He's going to get our lick back, man. OK. And who you think can do more damage to our enemies, man? You or the Lord, man? Remember, the Lord said he's not he, when when he returns, he's, he's not going to meet thee as a man. He's coming back in all of his glory and, and, and power as a God, man. What the hell you think you can do in this scrawny body, man? You bleed just like them. You bleed just like our enemies, man. Do you think you can you can do more damage to 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 our enemies than the Lord? Come on, man. You're crazy, man. That's pride. And what what does it say about Esau, man? All right. It's, hey, hey, you niggas in the same spirit as Esau, man. OK. All right. Your pride deceiveth you. OK. <laughs> it says. To me belong a vengeance. And recompense their foot shall slide in due time. OK, for the day of of their calamity is at hand and the things that shall come upon them make haste. OK, and it's making haste, man. Don't worry about our enemies, man. Let them laugh. Let them let them live it up. OK, because right when they think it's peace and safety, then sudden destruction, man. OK. All right. So let's go back here. All right. Book of James, chapter one and verse 19 and 20. And it reads, wherefore, be, wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath for the wrath of men. It's like a, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. See, ain't nothing righteous about going down there for round two, man, in Chicago. OK, but hey, let them let, let them guys do that, man. OK, Lord willing, hey, hey, hey let the let the Lord's will be done, man. Lord might bring judgment on those guys, man, for going down there looking for their lick back. You see, all oh, y'all want to be carnal. OK, well, all right. Let me let something carnal happen to you. See. The Lord, the, hey, you never know, man. The Lord ain't playing with the Lord. The Lord said the uh, judgment is starts within the house uh, 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 of of, you know, the Israelites, man. OK. Us in this truth, man. OK. Roughly paraphrasing. This is a book of uh, uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 28 and I'll start at verse eight. All right. Down to 12. And it reads, it says, abstain from strife and thou shalt diminish thy sins for for a furious man. OK, for a furious man will kindle will kindle strife. See, and that's all these guys are doing, man. All right. And see and, and see they're leading their the, you know, the the uh, the uh, the Israelites that follow them. Right. These other camps. You're leading them and, you know, uh, uh, into a burning building, man. You lead them to a slaughter, man. OK, because they're not in the right spirit, man. And the Lord's only coming back to collect to, to collect his jewels. Right. As it is written, the elect are only going to be of those that, that 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 are in the right spirit, man. OK, verse nine, a sinful man. All right. Disquieteth friends and maketh debate among them that be at peace. You see, 
it says, as, as the matter of, of the fire is, so it burneth. And as a man's strength is, so, so is his wrath. And according to his riches, his anger riseth. And the stronger they, it's like in the stronger they are, and the stronger they are, which contend, the more they will be inflamed. Okay. You see? Definitely, man. Let's go to these next ones. The book of uh, Titus, St. Titus chapter uh, 1 and verse 7. And it reads, for a bishop must be blameless. See? All right. See, these, these are instructions, man. All right. Are we not coming back? into the, you know, uh, uh, on the old ways are now we practicing the righteous acts of the old ways, man. All right. So, so, so when we read these scriptures, you know, these men, you know, you know, men in this truth, we, you know, they have titles. Okay. We all have titles. Okay. So the Lord has given us instructions on what to do. All right. Whatever rank you're in or no matter what rank you're in. Okay. It says, for a bishop must be blameless, okay? Your hands must be clean, man, all right? As the steward of Yahweh, not self-willed, all right? See, that's a self-willing thing going down there, man. Calling all camp, calling all camps. It says, not soon angry, not given to wine, nor striker. You see, they going down there to strike. <laughs> They're gathering up. To go down to Chicago to strike. You see? And I believe that they that you know that they're planning on meeting up on, you know, on on, on the Shabbat, man. A day that, a day that we're supposed to be at rest and at peace from working or putting our hands to work. They want to go down there and put their hands to work to 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 have a round two with the Palestinians, man. Come on, man. Wrong spirit, man. It says no 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 striker, not given to filthy lucre. But a lover of it's like a hospitality, it's like a ho hospitality. OK, a lover of good men, sober, just holy and temperate. Right. Holding fast the faith. It's like a holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught. See. And we ain't been taught to go down to 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 to, uh, to uh, be strikers, you know, to be brawlers. You know, we ain't been taught that, man, you know. It says that he may be able by sound, do sound doctrine. That's not sound doctrine that y'all teaching, man, which are actions. You see. It says by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers, man. OK, only thing y'all convincing y'all people, you know, the people that follow y'all, man, is to go do, you know, to 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 uh, fight fire with fire, man, you know. Which, which which the scripture says the opposite, man. It tells us to do the opposite. Ver, ver, uh, First Corinthians chapter fourteen and verse forty. Let all things be done decently and in order. Okay, and that's totally out of order, man. All right, point blank, period. Last scripture, the book of uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, all right, chapter nine. So like a chapter eleven and verse nine, and it reads: Strive not in the matter that that concern of not the uh, so like it's. Strive not in, in a matter that concern of the not. OK, all those camps that y'all call in, call in all camps for round two. Those guys don't have nothing to do with that man. But yet y'all, 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 y'all gathering them together and they're going to go, you know, and do the opposite of the of of what we just read in the scripture. All right. The opposite of the instructions of Yahweh Shai. They're going to go down there and join that man. Join something that don't even concern them, man. That's why they knew not to even call a, a, a you know name off a, a great millstone because they know we going we gonna stay in the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. We're gonna follow the basic and the basic instructions, okay? We're gonna stay in order, man. Okay, Yahweh Ratazah. We all stay in order, man. You all right? It says, "Strive not in a matter that concern of thee not, and sit not in judgment with sinners." Okay, all right. And those guys are, look, hey, man, I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and it fed the sheep of the spirit and poverty. How about Shemel Shai? You know, just be mindful. You know, all of us, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, of course, you know, to be mindful, you know, to that, that, that we're in the right spirit. Okay. The scripture says, examine thyself daily. All right. Matter of fact, let me end it off with that. Salakia.
All right. Examine thyself daily. Let me see. Examine. Yep. Let's get it here. This is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter <clears throat> chapter 13, and verse five. Examine yourselves. All right. Whether ye be in the faith. OK, so we have to examine ourselves every day, whether, you know, uh, uh, knowing that, you know, making sure that we're in the right spirit. OK, it says prove your own selves, man. OK, it's not about just correcting and rebuking each other, man. OK, all right. That's a good deed. Don't get me wrong, you know, but first you have to deal with yourself internally, man. All right. Remember, the scripture says that the flesh war with it's like a, the, uh, the uh, spirit war against the flesh. All right. And vice versa, man. OK. And your flesh is going to tell you, hey, man, I'm going to go down there and fight with them brothers. I'm going to do the, like, no, I'm going to do the opposite of what the scriptures say, man, because I'm a man. I got I got, I got, I got, I got like, Come on, man. You know, stay in the spirit, man. Examine yourselves, examine ourselves and make sure we're state. It's like it, that we're in the right spirit. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves. How you how is Mashiach is in you. See, the Lord is in this, man. All right. And if you're in the right spirit, the Lord dwelleth in you, man. OK. Except ye be reprobates. And a lot of those guys are reprobates, man. All right. So I'm ended off there. Lord willing, it's edifying to the body and the feather sheep of the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Shalom and a Bible ball.